Okay, now we have our scripts, and now let's test them out. So first of all, I'm going to test out the hitting. Now, I might be wrong, but I don't remember him being a two-shot. Good day, my fellow hackers. Today, I'm going to be using Cheat Engine on Hollow Knight. And today, I'm going to be making a two-shot kill. But first of all, let me decrease the resolution, turn off the full screen. So, okay. Now, let's turn on the Cheat Engine. 7.6, of course new version press this clothing button and connect this to the whole night okay beautiful okay so we can now go into the game and i'm gonna go into one of my saves which is a god home and it has all the bosses so okay we are here now i'm gonna equip uh, this defender's crest which, if you don't know, is this charm makes you stinky, a smelly, and uh, yes, it's gonna be a perfect thing to show you in today's hack. Today's hack, of course, is called Two Shot Kill. Why two shots? Well, because the game works like that, and I'm gonna be showing this off with the False Knight Ascended, because I like it when it has more HP. So there we go. Now I'm gonna hit him once, pause the game, and now I'm gonna go into a cheat engine, and now is it 4 bytes? I don't know the exact value, but I know that it's unknown initial value. I'm gonna select it, first scan, okay, and now I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna punch him again, pause the game, I'm gonna uh, select as decreased value because we decreased its HP. I'm now trying to catch this big false knight's HP and now it's decreased, so decreased it is. Next scan, okay. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna punch him once again and now I'm gonna scan again as decreased and now it is unchanged but these values are changing so I'm gonna select unchanged value and scan a few times until until I'm satisfied from the game and out okay good enough I'm gonna punch him again and now it is decreased once again, so I'm gonna scan as decreased, next scan, okay, and now I'm just gonna scan as decreased as I punch him, and, okay, unchanged, because a bunch is changing, in the game, pause again, I believe I did not hit him, if I scan is unchanged. Yes. Okay. Now it's still unchanged. Now I'm gonna hit him. Or not. Because a bunch of values will keep on changing. And now I'm gonna hit him. And now it should be decreased, but why do they keep on changing? Well, because the values. And now. This boss's HP in particular should be this triple digits, and now this should be its HP. Let's see. If you were to, yes, if you were to die from the stink, it is your HP. So okay, we found the, the false knight's HP. Don't kill him. Now what we can do, we can just decrease it into a zero and see if it's uh, you know what, what's gonna happen so it's a zero i'm gonna stand near him he dies beautiful beautiful i must say beautiful it's okay it works as it should now i'm gonna pause the game and i'm gonna right click this value and i'm gonna press find out for rights to this address or f6 Yes, attach the debugger, and in here I'm gonna catch an instruction, or a script, 
for an action that changes this value upon me hitting this enemy. And there we go, we found one of the instructions. If I hit him, it's the same. But if he dies from my stink, it's a different instruction. So this instruction is when he, you know, gets uh, gets damage from the stink. If it's, oh, I died. Oh. I did not, I did not look at my HP. It doesn't matter. We have the instructions, so it does not matter that I died. We have what we need. So this is when I struck him with my blade, and this is when he was smelling me. So anyways, this is the main damage output. This instruction reacts when you hit him with a blade, you hit him with a bug, you hit him maybe with your thorns effect perhaps, but this instruction triggers when you hit him with your stink. So yeah, so this is what we need. And uh, well, you can of course modify this one too. So you would be extra stinky. I'm gonna do actually both. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the sword. So I'm gonna select instruction. I'm gonna press show disassembler. This pops up. And now I'm gonna press tools, auto assemble or control A. Down here. I'm gonna press template, AOB injection or shift control A. Okay, and in here I'm gonna spam. Okay. I just spammed keyboard, I just don't want them to collide. It's just eh. Okay, and now in here, beyond the blue and beyond the red, there's a code. And in here, this code says this. Move this value into this value. So, this is, uh, so it moves, which is just simply placing this uh, number in this, not adding, not subtracting, just this in this. So, uh, this is decreased HP, and this is the current HP. So it moves decreased HP into a current HP, and that's how it uh, does the thing. Usually games just uh, subtract, but, and whatever. I'm just gonna change this into not whatever address that was. I'm just gonna type a zero. So it would change the current HP into a zero. I'm gonna press file, assign to current G table. It appears right over here as the script. And now I'm just gonna close, close this. And actually I'm gonna make this instruction the same. So show this assembler. Tools, auto assemble, template, AOB injection. Okay. Okay. And this as a zero. Assign. Okay, I can close everything except the cheat engine in the game. Okay. And there we go. So I'm going to name this as the. just so I would know and this is the inst kill okay now I mark them okay and now I can just uh, activate them both and um, you're gonna see what's gonna happen so we'll give it some time there we go it's a dark mode so probably it's a bit hard to see but there is I'm gonna show you there's both they both have X's now okay now let's go and try to fight the boss again of course uh, the HP is gonna be uh, forgotten this is not uh, its current HP this is just it's a forgotten value for I can just delete this okay now we have our scripts and now let's test them out so first of all I'm gonna test out the hitting now, I might be wrong, but I don't remember him being a two-shot. And if I just punch him, he dies. 
If I stand near him, he should die from the stink. But you know, it's a bit more harder with a stink. But yes. And there we go. He died. We can try this on anything. We can test this on anyone. But yes, it's a two shot, not one shot. Which is um, a bit sad. Yes, I know. This bush is... Um, we can try this on anything. So let's, uh, let's say... Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, you should try this yourself. I'm gonna try this on God team. Yeah, sure. Ascended. And I'm just gonna jump. And he crumbles. And, and this bug crumbles. And I just didn't even hit him. Yes. It works. It's nice. And you can save the scripts and just uh, go and, uh, you know, play a new game. Just start a new game. You can just save these scripts and just use them whenever. You can even close the game. I can just gonna press this button to save. And in here I'm gonna... Oh, hold on, I save. It should be on my desktop. Right now. There we go. It's here. I can open this. It works. I just need to connect this. To the game beautiful beautiful the scripts work and you can just it yeah play around with this so yeah that is all thanks for watching